so now it's a time to wait for result and you have to see that what will be what was uh, what was your performance so don't worry about it whatever will be the result enjoy that result and uh, just one thing those who are getting whatever the last year performance that is you can say your cut off will be the same but whatever is the last one so if you are getting around that that is 100 is the best score so if you are getting that 100 score definitely you are in and you are writing mains so without uh, doing or waiting for the result start your preparation okay because mains is more difficult than prelims although prelims is also difficult okay now if you see economy part this is the edge which will give you in prelims and mains also because if you see the last year trend of economy economy was the easiest one so in sabhi difficult subjects me say history polity geography economy sabse easy hai ye number 1 that is why i am happy and second thing economy ek aisa subject hai which you can do in very less time and score more to simple sa fund hai minimum pain maximum gain okay to kam pad ke zyada gain karna so that is the subject okay so this is set d in front of you so there are total 14 questions and i can say yeah. one thing with surety that those out of 14 12 questions you can easily find to be or you get your 12 questions are easily correct i hope you agree with this do teen question do question ho sakte hain ki aapne nahi sune honge ya you get confused but 12 questions aap aaram se kar sakte ho usme so agar d ke andar dekho aap to sabse pehle 51 question was there so question number 51 and uh, before i start this i just want to tell you one thing in economy as a overall there are total 10 broad topics jo aapka prelims aur mains dono ka portion cover kar deta hai and 10 mein se bhi six are the important topics so without having general discussion i just want to stick to paper only ki kya answer hona chahiye ye question aaya kahan se hai or you can say what is the source of this question and uh, what how you can approach that question in today's paper so agar pehla question dekhoge that is 51 question so there are three statement and this topic is from monetary policy okay the topic of monetary policy jiske andar you heard about your uh, repo rate reverse repo rate wo wale topic se aapka ye question aaya so if you see that question statement number 2 is incorrect so without wasting your time on statement number 1 and 3 directly come to statement number 2 why because it is saying that provisions in the constitution there was no provision in the constitution which is talking about or regulating about you can say controlling or regulating the rbi so there was no provision okay so it is what it said that provisions in the constitution give central government the right to issue direction to the rbi in public interest so there was no provision so automatically if you eliminate your this thing second option so your answer comes out to be c that is 1 and 3 yes governor and deputy governor are appointed by central government there is no doubt in that second governor of the rbi draws his power from the rbi act again there is no doubt rbi ka sirf ek hi act hai that is 1934 act there is no other act okay so this 51 is very easy question so you need just if you have read it in ncert also that is your macroeconomy that is more than sufficient macroeconomy there are total six chapter in that so out of that if you have a good grip over that book also then also you can able to handle 6 7 question in this paper of economy apart from this your regular reading of newspaper i'll tell you why okay so 51 very easy question okay i hope no one has any doubt second with respect to casual workers now when i'm talking about casual workers why it is in news because you have periodic labor force survey every time in that you basically measures casual status usual status so when it comes to casual status it is you can say in your uh, general term freelancer okay or temporary worker so definitely if i am working as a temporary worker and i am having earning good amount i can or i am entitled to have provident fund so there is no doubt in that so statement 1 is correct statement 2 it is entitled for regular working hours yes if i am giving any services to any organization as a temporary worker yes i am entitled to regular working hours it is not like that 
कि इफ दे हैव गिवन मी सम प्रोजेक्ट आई हैव टू डू इट इन 2 डेज इफ प्रोजेक्ट डिमांड्स 10 डेज टाइम आई विल टेक 10 डेज टाइम ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट यस दिस इज एंटाइटल्ड टू रेगुलर वर्किंग एंड इफ आई हैव टू डू ओवर टाइम दे विल पे मी सो दिस इज आल्सो करेक्ट थर्ड गवर्नमेंट कैन बाय नोटिफिकेशन स्पेसिफाई दैट एस्टैब्लिशमेंट ऑन इंडस्ट्री शैल पे वेजेस ओनली थ्रू बैंक अकाउंट यस गवर्नमेंट कैन नोटिफाई ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट बिकॉज if you still confused we want to make our economy formalize or you can say formalization of economy to so formal economy banane ke liye hame chahiye to so third point is also correct so answer will be d so again this is a question which you will find in your newspaper either you are reading hindu or any newspaper so you will find there third question economic recession now this topic is from inflation so when it comes to economic recession so just think what is economic recession that is unemployment plus inflation to ab hame is situation se bahar nikalna hai that is recession se what we have to do we have to again boost our industry industry ko boost karoge to employment dobara hogi ab employment dobara hogi to people will have money people will have money then they will have savings they will have savings they will purchase things so economic recession se ab bahar aoge okay now increase in expenditure on public projects so jab government increase karegi apna expenditure public projects pe to public projects kaun bana raha hai aapka that is private sector hi bana raha hai public project to private sector will get work so more employment and more employment means this thing so answer will be b so c cannot be the answer why because tax rates kam karne se shayad economic recession ko aap kuch control kar sakte ho but yahan par ek second point aur dal diye increase in interest rate ये इंक्रीज इन इंटरेस्ट रेट जो है ये आपको इकोनॉमिक रिसेशन की सिचुएशन से बाहर नहीं आने देगा ओके व्हाई? बिकॉज लोन्स विल बी कॉस्टली तो हमें इकोनॉमिक रिसेशन में लोन्स सस्ते चाहिए यहां पर क्या है इंक्रीज इन सी ऑप्शन क्या है इंक्रीज इन टैक्स रेट्स एकम्पनीड बाई रिडक्शन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट रेट सो अगेन दिस स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग वाई बिकॉज टैक्स रेट आपने बढ़ा दिए तो मतलब लोगों के पास वैसे ही पैसे नहीं है हाउ दे विल पे how they will pay extra taxes okay so increase is not allowed in economic recession and reduction of expenditure on public expenditure again no so answer is b now come to next question that is this question is from growth chapter okay now it is what it is saying that market demand for a good might increase if now for this you have to apply your logical reasoning or you can say uh, elimination rule so first of all this third statement if you see the goods the good is an inferior good and income of the consumer increases see inferior goods wo goods hote hain jaise aapki income badhti hai aap inferior goods ki taraf dekhte bhi nahi ho okay so they are the things like earlier you were eating bajra okay why because your salary is less now your salary increases now you will not purchase even bajra or not see that bajra again so this is what inferior good so good is an inferior good so third statement is wrong so if you eliminate so your answer comes out to be a 1 and 4 again easy question now substitute definitely if i am teaching economy my competitor is also teaching economy so competitor increases the rate of its economy as a subject so definitely demand for my economy will increase so this is what price of its substitute increases so again first is correct and fourth is its price falls yes if thing is in demand price falls so again you can say market demand for that good increases so that is why 1 and 4 next is again next is with reference to urban cooperative banks now this is a expected question and again it is from your current affairs and this topic is from banking one little bit difficult one why because if you search on google you will find answers that says that ki yes it is supervised and regulated by local boards yes it it was correct why because in june 2020 government has passed an ordinance which says that it was supervised and regulated by your rbi so this is on the basis of ordinance passed by the government so that is why this question is there yes they can they can issue equity shares and preference shares yes they were brought under the purview of banking regulation act 1946 who an amendment in 1966 this statement is also correct so answer will be 2 and 3 so if you eliminate first and if you have read that ordinance so your first option get eliminated your first statement get get wrong so you can eliminate your answer will come out to be d 
Now, Indian government bond yields are influenced by which of the following? Now, this question is from capital market and money market. Although three years back, this topic of capital and money market has no relevance, but but they are asking from the last two or three times or two or three years. Now, here you have to focus on the word yields. Now, bonds, you know, what are bonds? Yields means you how much you are investing and how much interest rate you are getting. So, that is yields. So, if I talk about how Indian bonds yields get affected, definitely some foreign foreigner or foreign person has invested in Indian bonds. Now, American bonds are giving more interest rate. So, definitely he will withdraw his money from India and invest in American bonds. So, statement 1 is correct. Second action of the, yes, if government brings some new schemes or new guidelines for bonds. Suppose government says that ki government bonds pay interest rate more than your private bonds. So, again that action of RBI will impact the Indian government bond yields. That also correct. Again, inflation and short term interest rate. Now, if you see inflation, now when inflation is there, people will have less saving in their pocket. Now, when less saving are there, they will invest less in the less in the bond or bond market. So, Indian government bond yields again get affected or influenced. So, answer is D. I hope it is understood. Again, easy question. Next is which of the following can be included in FDI? Now. If you have read a very important chapter in your macro uh, macroeconomic NCRT that is balance of payment which you in short known as BOP. So that this question is from there. So when it comes to FDI, the one thing you have to remember this, how you have to attempt this question that global depository receipt GDR, it is neither FDI nor FII. Why? Because GDR is when Indians are investing in foreign stock market. Okay, so that when we are investing there, so it is not considered as FII for India, neither FDI. So third is wrong. So when you eliminate, so your A or B option get, you can easily remove it. Now, the fight is between C and D. Now in C, if I see this foreign institutional investment with certain condition. Now you have to know one thing, if, if any foreigner is investing in Indian company in the form of FII, and if its investment is more than 10%, then that can be considered as FDI. So that is why they have written with certain conditions. So condition is 10%. Right now it is 10%. It gets changed with time. Maybe in future it may be 15%. So UPS is not interested in that condition. But they know that there are there is some kind of condition. So FII with certain conditions. So again if you eliminate it, your answer come out to be 2 and 4 that is C. Now next is the effect of devaluation of currency. Now here if you see you get stuck here. First is improve the competitiveness of domestic export in foreign market. Now this question is again from balance of payment. Now if you see your that book so it is clearly mentioned one thing that when our dollar that is rupee with respect to dollar increases so automatically your demand for product or your product will become competitive okay now you may be get confused in improve improves the trade balance this is a situation where it may or may not because if i take the case of india so it is it it is going to be worst but if i take the case of china it is going to be better okay so improve the trade balance so we are not sure in this so that is why answer is one only okay same with respect to statement second so again it is may or may not so possibility is there okay so but in first statement we are sure okay so it will improve the competitiveness so answer will be a next is question number 59 now with respect to black money so definitely black money is not good for any economy but with respect to Indian economy, if you see, if there will be more generation of black money. Okay. So, what will happen? So, the question is asking, uh, question is asking the main cause of worry. Although all the statements or all the options are cause of worry, but we are more interested in main cause. 
so main cause of worry is here your state exchequer that tax evasion or you can say collection of revenue will be less in our consolidated fund of india so answer will be d next is with respect to inflationary in its effect which of one of the following is likely to be most inflationary in its effect now when it comes to inflation there can be many reasons for inflation but if you have again read your macroeconomics there is again a concept of flow and stock okay so stock is available money flow is when new money is added okay so if you read it so they have explained with a diagram of a water tank so whatever um, uh, water available that is the available stock when you open the tap so running water is your flow so similarly here whatever money in circulation that is your stock okay so when i print new notes or rbi print new notes so that is what in available stock we are adding a flow okay so that will that means the answer comes out to be creation of new money to finance a budget deficit so again this question is from inflation so if you see the pattern they have asked two questions from inflation three questions from monetary policy one question from fiscal policy one question from banking one question from unemployment or employment so in this way they have asked now moving further so we have covered 10 questions now moving further that is question number 71 that is set d so in question number 71 they have asked about money multiplier now this question is again from your monetary policy so you read about money supply again the answer is in your macroeconomic book so you read about money supply that is m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 so money multiplier is m0 upon my m3 okay so m0 is reserve money and m3 is broad money so when it comes to broad money so here we have slr and crr in denominator and whatever money you deposit either in the form of that is your time liability or demand liability that will be numerator so what i want to say that money multiplier is inversely proportional to your cash reserve ratio and slr so the statement is saying the crr and slr are increasing so it means it has an inverse relation so it means that money multiplier will decrease okay so if they have written decreasing then you can say money multiplier will increase okay so option a and b will not be the answer now it comes to d option so here you can say that increase in the population so increase in the population has no relation with money multiplier okay so it is have this variable has no relation then answer will be your option c next comes demand pull inflation so when it comes to demand pull so what does it mean that people having more money in their pocket okay then only we have demand pull now to tackle demand pull what we have to do okay first of all we first of all that rising interest rate so you have to think in this way if interest rate are in, if interest rate are increased your loan will be costly okay so that will not tackle demand pool so answer will be option a now with the reference to question number 73 it is talking about t bill and government of india debt bond so it is basically t bills and government securities again this question is from capital market and money market so you know that government securities can be issued by both central government and state government T bills cannot T bills only by your central government, not by state government. So recently there was a news that they allowed retail investors. Okay, so this is of current nature question that retail investors. So option uh, statement one is correct. Second, negotiated dealing system order matching. Now what is this negotiated dealing system platform? Basically, whenever you invest in government securities, so this is a platform where whoever are, in, are interested to invest. They basically log on to the RBI website, there they click there and then they can invest. So this is this thing. So that is a statement 2 is also correct. Now Central Depository Service Limited. This was initiated by Bombay Stock Exchange. But now it is promoted by Bombay Stock Exchange as well as other nationalized banks. So they have written RBI. So that is why this statement is wrong and answer comes out to be your 
1 and 2 okay so third segment is wrong so you can easily eliminate c and d will get eliminated now next and last question is that is with respect to rbi now this question is again from monetary policy so we have total three questions from monetary policy one is money multiplier second is with respect to your who appoints rbi governor or you can say that we have seen and third is this one lenders last resort now if you see rbi play a many role okay like it's a government's bank also it used to you can say formulate monetary policy also it do financial inclusion also it play a role in development also so this is one of the role that is lender of last resort now what does it mean when banks are not able to get borrowing because banks ko bhi function karne ke liye they used to borrow from some other sources okay now they are not getting borrowing from any source then in that scenario they can approach rbi that is why we call it lenders last resort ओके मतलब आपको कहीं से किसी बैंक को कहीं से हेल्प नहीं मिल रही देन दे कैन अप्रोच आरबीआई सो इफ यू कीप दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इन माइंड सो आंसर कम आउट टू बी स्टेटमेंट नंबर टू एंड दैट इज बी ओनली ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट योर इकोनॉमी पोर्शन टोटल फोर्टीन टोटल फोर्टीन क्वेश्चन एंड ऑल क्वेश्चन आर इजी एंड आई एक्सपेक्ट दैट आउट ऑफ फोर्टीन यू कैन इजिली अटेम्प्ट ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन ओके